Howdy y'all. My name is Zachary Puckett, store manager of Ranch Wright Products, which is part of the company of Wright Products. For any time you need a pump for your air compressor, or a gearbox for your cutter, or hell, even a ball for your trailer hitch, give us a call. We'll be happy to assist you with all your equipment needs. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly assemble your brand new DM165 Ranch Wright drum mower. We'll go over procedures like safety, proper lifting techniques, and how to go over visual inventory of the parts in stock. We'll also show you ways to keep from getting your fingers chopped off in the process. Now how about it, let's get to work with Burning Daylight. And remember, do it right or don't do it. Let's go get the job done. Today I'm going to show you how to break into a high secure bank vault only using simple hand tools. Oh wait a second. That's the wrong show, sorry guys. Join me next time for that. Today we're going to assemble a DM165 hay cutter. All you need is a few simple hand tools found in Papa's toolbox. A simple metric set from about 9 to 22 millimeter. Now you're only going to use about two of them, but we like to have all of our toys. You know how boys are. And a crescent wrench, a hammer, a screwdriver for a pry bar, and a pair of pliers just to keep your hands out of the way. And always remember when assembling any piece of equipment, think safe. We only got 10 fingers and you can live without a few, and I like to keep all mine if you know what I mean. And use proper lifting techniques. Always lift with your legs and not with your back, or get a buddy to help you. Or get the old tractor out of the shed to pick it up for you. We only get one back and mama don't like us when we all go. So let's go about and put this thing together and we'll see what she looks like. Yeah. After you get the top off your crate on your brand new DM165 Ranch Wright drum mower, peel the plastic back and make sure you got all the included parts and hardware needed to assemble your unit. Now let's peel her back and see how much we got. Boy, they wrap it good. What some pretty paint. The plastic they use has a rust inhibitor compound on it to keep the machine to rust and keeping the paint job looking fresh till you receive it at your house. Now after you get your brand new DM165 Ranch Right drum mower uncrated, let's lay out, have all the parts laid out on the ground to take a quick visual inventory of what was supplied with the unit. Right here you see we got the guard assembly, complete with all hardware need to put it together and a skirting to go around it when you get done to protect you from flying debris. Kits also included is the mainframe assembly for your three point that attaches to the cutter bar. It also supplies a brand new PTO shaft, your main spring assembly to keep the weight off your tractor, a transport and work bar just in case when you got a tote or a long load or holler in the field. Also comes with a breakaway bar in case you snag a stump. We even send you with an extra set of blades just in case you find grandpa's old engine block been buried out there for the past couple of years. Even send a quick change tool to change them. And we'll show you how to do that here later. Now let's get to work and go assemble this thing. Step one of assembling your unit. Remember when it's packed, your spring assembly pivot is pointing down in the downward direction. You have to flip it to start your assembly, otherwise it won't pick nothing up when you get it assembled to your tractor. What you do is you reach behind here and pull your cotter pin out, and don't forget about your steel washer, and pull this assembly out, and flip it like so, and install your washer and cotter pin again. And that'll make where your spring assembly bolts up to the rest of your tractor frame. Step two of this assembly process is take all the three pins out of your spring pivot right here so we can start the main spring assembly. As you see here, to start, we pulled the bushing and bolts out of our spring carriage and out of the middle hole. We're gonna need that removed to do our assembly process. You also pull the front pin out to assemble as well. You see I have all my pins pulled out and laid up top as so. And the first you wanna hook up the middle pin in your assembly. Put your cotter pin in so you don't forget. Well, 
we got that pinned up. Now you're gonna hook the pull bar to your main spring seam to keep the weight off your mower deck on your tractor. Once you got that installed, you see your frame coming together. Then we'll take our carriage and you'll pin it up like so. Sometimes you gotta tweak your pins just a little bit. And I like to bend all my cotter pins after I get done, just in case you gotta pull it back apart to get another piece on. And after that, we'll put our spring right here on top. It's got three different holes in it for different weights or different size cutters. Use the middle hole for this size cutter. Got your spring on there. Now the next step, after you get all this assembled, swing your spring assembly out of the way so you can mount your main frame to your three-point assembly. Make sure you pick up all tools and loose parts so you don't drop them and knock them in between the pallets so you don't have to fish through the dirt for them later or get your boy to look for them with the magnet. Now let's move on to putting our three-point main frame together and attaching it to our spring assembly. Now after you get your three-point assembly mounted up on your main pin, you're gonna swing the spring assembly into place with the three-point assembly and hook your spring on the hook on top of it. Now you get you somebody to help you to swing it up in the way because it's hard to handle by yourself with only two hands. I'm gonna swing it up. Swing the assembly past the spring and hook it in the hook. Then pull it back. Line up your pin hole on the top part of your frame. A little wiggle might need it to get the pin in place. Put your washer on the outside and put your cotter pin in place to secure it. And now we'll move on to the next step of installing our draw bar and our breakaway bar. The next step of our assembly will be installing the tow bar for transport or work mode. Pretty simple. We'll thread it through the top right here and pin it up with our short pin. And install the cotter pin so. And make sure so your tow bar stays up and won't come down to you swing it in transport mode behind the tractor. The next step of this procedure will be install our breakaway bar in case you hit that old engine block Grandpa left in the field that we forgot about. You'll put it through the breakaway rest and pin it up with your long pin, like so. Install your cutter pin. As we get our hands in there. And then we'll install our breakaway bar on the top point of our three-point link. And now your breakaway and tow bar is installed. Let's move on to the next step of getting this sucker together. We still burn in daylight. And the next part of this assembly process is removing the four stud bolts from your oil reservoir top and attaching your frame assembly for the rest of your guard. Remember, to leave all bolts loose until you get every piece on. After you get your support bars on there, we'll start with putting the first panel on on our guard assembly. Remember to make sure your carriage bolts go in square on the top and washer on the bottom. And make sure they're in all the way in the sheet metal, otherwise you'll bend that sheet metal up like you did grandma's car when you was about 15. Now always remember still, leave your hardware loose so you can have some wiggle room. It's okay to tighten it up a little bit and snug her down, but make sure you have plenty of room after you get to, so you can assemble the rest of the pieces. Otherwise, you'll be cussing me for a good 35 minutes trying to get the rest of it assembled. Now let's move on to the other side, which is the exact same procedure as this side. After you get your other side of your main guard put on and the bolts in it, and remember to keep the nuts loose and don't tighten them all the way down until you're finished complete with the assembly. And this is why. We'll take the nut off the boat we put on previously on the other side of a frame and install our support bracket for our end piece of our guard. Make sure you bolt the carriage bolts in all the way in the square and install your end piece 
and try not to drop your washers. And remember to leave them loose so you can install more. We'll let the end pieces hang and we'll install our end guard top piece that we pre-assembled with our end support with the nut and bolt loose as always. I got a screwdriver up under here on the main frame assembly of this guard to hold it up to ease assembly and not need much help to slide it underneath and in between. Once you get underneath, pull your screwdriver out, let it hang like so, and take your support for your side and it goes underneath the end piece like so. Get one of your good old carriage bolts. It might take a little wiggling and a little bit of patience. And this is why we leave everything nice and loose because this is the part where you might be cussing me. But really, truly, it's just as simple as apple pie. We'll stall our nut. And we'll assemble the other side support exactly the same way. And as you can see here, we've got most of our bumper guard installed on the cover of our unit. We started with the end piece and worked our way around the front, still leaving each bolt loose as we continue our assembly. Remember, don't tighten them all up yet till, till we're done with the complete assembly. Now we're gonna go over here and put our, our last piece on our bumper guard and get ready to do our final assembly part by putting our skirting around the bottom. That'd be a good time to get the grandkids out to play in the dirt so they can get up under this thing to help you. Now let's get this installed so we can get on done and get down the road. Now it's time to let your son go at it with his ratchet and tighten all these critters up and then we'll go on putting the skirt on. After you get the skirt on your new drum mower, you have finished the assembly process of your brand new Ranch Right product. Now join us next time when we'll take her out in the field and show you proper operations and setup procedure for this cutter. Now y'all come back now you're here. I'm gonna go catch me a cold one and get me a bite to eat. <laughs>